shaking tube, it's your boy. So V, aka that OG, I'm out here. Got everything set up. Everything good to go to get this rear started. Got the wheels off. About to get ready. Uh, camera set up. Everything set up. We are good to go, team. So let's lock and load. Let's start in on uh, this rear brake caliper swap. Uh, again, once I swap the rear brake calipers, the next thing I'm going to do after that is, like I said, I want to swap the brake fluid so what i'm gonna do is once i actually change the brake calipers what i'm gonna do is um start going through the process of getting the old brake caliber fluid out and getting the new dot for racing brake caliber fluid in so you already know motol let's go motol however you say it damn it i got it let's go rbf 600 um factory line dot four Let's get it popping, people, already. All right, too, so you see, uh, I got the little filter out, got the top oil um, cleaned around the neck and everything. Got brake fluid on deck. And now what I'm about to do is just get in here with my vacuum. And let's get this in here and get that down there as far as it'll go. That is about as far as it'll go. And now what I'm gonna do is uh, let's just start getting some of this brake fluid out of the reservoir. All right, let's get it to, let's get in here and get this joint off. Oh, cool. All right, way easier. Okay. Uh, all right, broke that loose, no biggie. You see, gotta have your catch pin under here, your drain pin. So always have that handy. All right, team, um, so we got the boat out. Um, now what we're gonna do is just remove the brake. Pads, come on now. And you see, they are fairly new. Like I said, I, I changed these like what, not that long ago. So this one is on the outside. Let's change this one out. And here, this one here is on the inside. Right, so got the brake pads out. Um, got one of the 19 millimeter bolts out that go to the bracket. That's out right here. And let's just get this other one so, out. Guys, we have the brake caliper off. Uh, what I did was I put two lug nuts on just to make sure it kept the brake rotor in the same position uh, while I'm doing this swap. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and set up the new brake caliper now and get this going. And let me just switch my gloves since they're like hugely dirty. And I'm going to be working with some freshly painted brake right, calipers. Team. So this is the corresponding brake caliper that's matching up exactly with this one. Get that in there for you. So um, what I just want to make sure is that this nozzle was on top. This is on top. Both bolts, everything on the side. Let's go and set it up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get it back on here. All right. So we got the first bolt. There we go. Tighten it up. Not too tight, but nice and snug. All right, that's the front. The top, let me get the bottom. What we're gonna do now is get some grease. Throw a little bit of grease on the guide pin here. Um, I should throw a little bit on the other guide pin down bottom. So just wanna show you guys that I took the top one out and I did the top one already. I'm doing the bottom one now. And um, yeah, just wanted to grease it up, get it back in there. 
and know for a fact that I put grease on it. It's greased up really good, good to go now. So now I got all the guide pins, the brake pads, uh, the shims, brake caliper bracket, everything. Um, I'm sorry, the brake caliper hardware that has right, resources. So I'm gonna try and just do a quick transfer and have it pretty much everything set up. Got the new copper wash. Right. So what I just did was I used some Teflon tape to wrap, as you can see, the white right here behind the uh, threading. Um, I used that pretty much to uh, make sure that we are good as far as ah, make sure we're good as far as when I'm ready to get the new brake fluid in there, whatever the old fluid is that's in the system, we're going to be getting that out. And what I'm gonna do now, uh, since I got everything swapped out, everything's hooked up proper, I'm gonna tighten down this uh, breaker, I'm sorry, this uh, bleeder valve. And uh, what I'm gonna do after I tighten down the bleeder valve, I'm gonna go to the brake cylinder and I'm gonna drain it. So let's go. Okay, two of us, uh, so we got it in uh, one man brake bleeder. See, I made my own uh, with some items from my Mighty Vac. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we got that clear stream. So what I'm gonna do is close up the bleeder valve. Just close that up nice and tight. Uh, and I'm using an eight millimeter when I switched rear brake calipers is not the same as my old ones. So I had to use a eight milli and um, yeah, we just tightened that up and let's pull this down a little bit. Actually put this on the ground more so it can get more suction that way and it'll go straight down into my catch boom and there we go so that is my rear passenger side brake caliper done we're looking good i'm gonna go check the brake caliper i'm sorry the uh master brake cylinder make sure that's good but as far as now everything's good over here i'm just gonna give me a shop towel let me wipe everything down make sure that we didn't get any contaminants as far as brake fluid on here because that is highly corrosive and yeah guys we are looking good all right so now that we're done with the rear right passenger side let's move over well let's check the master brake cylinder see if we need to add some more fluid and then let's go and start in on the rear left driver's side don't forget your little rubber grommet to have over there again everything's tight that's good to go let's move on Um, my front brake pads already have grease on the back, so I'm not gonna apply anymore. But you definitely want to get them on the brake hardware. And if it doesn't have brake um, grease on the back, you want to put the uh, brake grease on the back. I'm gonna transfer uh, the stainless steel brake line and the drain plug over. See. You. All right, so we got the clear stream, as you guys can see. Clear stream, we're gonna lock it up. Nice and tight. Be 
Well, you can see it too. Um, we got the clear fluid going on up here. You see that's really clear. Brand new brake, brake fluid on deck. Um, see our bottle, brand new brake fluid all in the bottle. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of run uh, a little bit more, a couple more pumps just to be on the safe side, make sure I have all the air out and um, call it a wrap. Yeah, and don't worry about this right here, that little tie up right there at the top. That was just so I could keep the hose in an upward position coming out of the brake caliper. Because again, you know, uh, let me see, point that out. Oops. So the air is going to come up and out. The air is always going to come up, so it's going to come up and out. As you see, this air bubble right here is stuck. You know what I'm saying? It's not even moving due to the pressure behind that. So um, what I'm just going to do is give it a couple more go arounds as far as pumping the brakes and filling the master brake cylinder just to make sure I got all the air out of it. My brake pedal does feel firm, um, feels really hard, really nice and sturdy. Uh, let me give it a couple more goes and we should be good to wrap this up, team. All right, so we're done. Let's just close this up. Tight. Yeah, that's as tight as it could go. We're good, baby. So that is brakes bled, uh, brake calipers changed. As you can see, this is our finished result. Um, yeah, man. That is, uh, well, I did empty a little bit, like half of this. So this, uh, along with half that I did pour in the uh, drain pan, uh, yeah, we're good to go, team. So that is the all four brake calipers changed, uh, bled, and we're good. Let's just put the wheels back on, call it a wrap. Again, make sure you pump your brakes. Make sure that they are firm um, and you should be good to go. You'll know if you did a good job bleeding the brakes, if they feel squishy or they can be pushed all the way to the ground. Uh, yeah, you probably didn't do a good job bleeding the brakes if they're not very firm, giving you a lot of resistance. So um, that's about it. Um, job well done. Everything taken care of. You already know it's your boy, Sir V, a.k.a. that OG. Like, share, comment, subscribe. It's your boy. Stay tuned. We in the loop. You already know. Um, appreciate it, guys. Until next time. Peace. It's your boy.